morning everybody it is thursday november 9th and i can't believe we're already nine days into november um i would show you the bison painting which i finished but i decided to change the background up in it um one thing being an artist you want to be careful that you don't infringe on any copyrights and a friend had sent me the photo and she didn't know if there was a, um, a, first of all, she had been to Yellowstone, so she had been taking pictures of uh, bison and so forth, but she didn't remember if, or recalled <coughs> if that particular photo she sent had a photographer's uh, copyright on it. So uh, I can use the bison because I have many that are posed like that. But I'm going to have to change up the background in it. And uh, I'm not taking any chances on another bison photo she had sent me. Whether it has a name on it or not, I've got to change it up. So uh, I got tired of working on them and a little discouraged. So now I'm working on this longhorn bull who lives in Cleveland, Texas. I checked with, his, uh, checked with the rancher. And he said he would really like to know what I, or love to see what I'm going to do with him. And uh, I, I really like him. I also am going to, I've got a mate here. Ah, this is, this one came from um, Salinas, Colorado. We were on that ranch a few years ago. But anyway, he's a stunning bull. And of course, this was a few years ago, so his horn's probably grown about five inches. So I'll extend the horn out um, uh, for, say, 10 years worth of growth, which is approximately five inches. And um, anyway, I'm looking forward to doing this brindle bull. He's uh, what you call uh, loud colored. And. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm excited about him. So I hope you'll join me again next week, and I hope I have more to show you. Um, so bye for now.